everybody. This is Les, a.k.a. Sister Slayer, here with the Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with It Came From The Radio. And we are at the Kim Fest in Newark, New Jersey. And I am standing with... Farai Raku. And... King Seven. Okay, and they are the creators of this original art. And tell me a little bit about your characters that you've drawn or what you've done. This art right here was actually done for Nasid, who is holding this event uh, for the Kim Fest. So tell me a little bit about who you are, your creative... Uh, your journey and uh, what you're going to be doing. Um, this is the book called Sleeping Giants, and this is one of the characters from Sleeping Giants. And basically, they're just melanated characters where the more melanin they have, the more powers they have. So basically, what I did was I actually just chose the most melanated character in my story and made it the alternative cover, which all of the energy that's around it. So he's obviously extremely melanated. And then on the other side is his book, which is called Numbers. Okay, and tell me a little bit about Numbers. Numbers is a story about, uh, it starts off with three orphan girls that basically have to fend for themselves. And I, it's not really a symbolization, but it's a symbolization of, you know, the struggle that we have to go through as our, our people. The book is all with us in it. So it's a, something I like to represent and I like to do something for, you know, the anime and the manga community. So how did you get started in, uh, in art and comics? Um, I've been doing this since I was a youth, but to be honest, it's events like this, Kim Fest, Ekbok, um, Oxycon and stuff like that, that literally makes you want to come out here and do stuff. I mean, look around you, everybody here looks like you and I, and doing what we, you know, doing exactly what you want to do, creating stuff, creating images, positive images for the youth to see and implement as they grow up in. What made you come up with a character that is uh, has superpowers related to his melanin? Um, the believe it or not, reading a lot about religion. It seemed like the more and more I got into religion, the more I found that melanated people were his chosen people. So I'm really big on Africa, and I want a whole lot of African inspiration in my um, in my artwork because I want the youth to see that African culture and implement it in themselves. It's definitely obvious in it with the colors and stuff. I mean, if you know anything about African colors, these are very culture. These colors are very pre prevalent in the African culture. It is nothing that is. I would say bland about the African culture. So this really sticks out. It's a beautiful piece of art. You're welcome. And let me ask you a little bit about your manga characters. So one of the things that we know that this is basically uh, a Japanese manga characters or something you always see, a manga and anime. But this is something that's geared towards the African-American culture, people that see us. Like, have you had any flack by anybody basically saying that you basically have ruined a cultural iconic thing about Japanese culture. I've actually um, I've been to Japan and I've talked to a lot of manga artists that come from there and the one thing they tell me is that they actually like to see the interpretation of us. Um, drawing something that looks like them that comes from us I think they're probably a little bit tired of it so they're actually very very happy and very influenced by what we do as well. There's a couple different ones like uh, Afro Samurai and other different where they actually are so influenced by us as a people that they actually do it and so now I'm looking at it like as a black man and I'm like you know what why can't I do it and uh, it's just a style that I've been accustomed to since growing up so it's a style I use but I use our people it's beautiful too it's a beautiful piece of artwork and it's just like I could definitely see this in a cartoon. I can actually see this on Crunchyroll or anything like that. <laughs> so what else is it you're getting ready to show us? What else do you have? Some, um, some of the individual characters of the actual story. So tell us about Thank Ichi. You. So Ichi is a character. She's the uh, oldest of this story. And she is, like I said, responsible. She's the one that's taking responsibility of the other two uh, orphan. And Ni, actually, this is you're counting in Japanese, right? Like, Ichi Ni. Which that goes to the whole numbers uh, thing, and uh, you know, but you know, another girl, also another orphan, that basically has to uh, fend for herself. She's taking the experience of being an orphan, and uh, and you, and then basically reflecting anger towards that. So um, she's dealing with her pain through anger. And then another girl, which is very shy, which is uh, Sun, and she's basically taking it, and she's very shy. She doesn't know what's going on. She's the youngest. So, you know, I started off with these characters, and um, we just start shooting around ideas. I want to keep it as simple as possible and just came up with the story. 
I think it's a very, it's kind of, they don't have really names, but their names are number. their names are numbers, basically. That makes them a little bit more powerful that they have a number attached to their name, you know. So now where can we find you all? Where are we going to find you in the future? Uh, social media? The best way to find us is on jopinjump.com. That's J-A-H-P-E-N, jump, J-U-P, uh, J-U-M-P, pardon me, dot com. And what we do is every time we go to an event, we put the notice up there. We're going to be here, what table and everything else. And there's a newsletter in there, too. So if you go in there and put your email in, we send out all the information where we're going to go, all our products and everything else, what we're going to have on sale and everything like that. But the next one is CultureCon, which is in two weeks. We'll definitely be at CultureCon. Yeah, unfortunately, we won't be there. We'll be in Philly, but we we're going to miss you guys. We'll probably see you around again. All right. We most definitely will see you around, and thank you for this. I really appreciate it, you know, highlighting what we do. Yep. We love to, we really love to focus on the independent because there is so much beautiful, wonderful art, artist, illustration out there. Uh, this just, you know, the world is limitless, and you have a choice of supporting people who do really wonderful work. So with that, we're going to say goodbye, and we'll see you soon.